Hey everyone, a real quick video on how to propagate uh, elderberry. So these are Sambuca canadensis. Um, this variety is ranch. Elderberry ranch right there. So about every two years in the Midwest, whenever you want to uh, reinvigorate growth and get better fruiting out of elderberry, if you print it back, um, it'll, it'll do better for you. But don't throw away your prunings because every one of those can be a new elderberry shrub. And the way you want to do it is with two nodes. So node one, node two. Always angle the bottom that's going to get stuck in the ground and leave the top square so you get them oriented properly. Again, the buds and the nodes have got to go up, right? Um, you want to do it with about an inch, maybe inch and a half, uh, above and below each node. And when you bury it, you want to have the soil level about two inches above the lower node, right about to here. Um, these are pretty fat, you know, these are thumb thickness. Um, usually you want to be right around 3A so you can get the better, best rooting. Um, and these are always done when it's still dormant, uh, you know, depending on where you're at in the world, February or March. Um, one more thing is that you can propagate these in the greenhouse. I mean, you can go ahead and pot them up and these roots are going to grow out of these lower nodes and down here with a callus as well. Um, but it takes time and energy to to baby elderberries because all too often if they get too warm what happens is they leaf out and you get too much top growth that there's not enough root mass to support so if the roots haven't had time to generate and grow um, you know carbohydrate is going to get exhausted by these leaves and there's no way to make more and they'll just die so they look really good for a month and then they'll die um, now if you can get them in the ground when the ground is still cool the roots will grow sooner than uh, they'll leaf out. So there's kind of this happy window of you cut, made cuttings when it was still dormant and got them in the ground right away before it warmed up too fast. Um, in that case, you can just plant them out directly in the field, which is what I'm doing for uh, you know many reasons, time and otherwise. So we've got, oh, probably 300 elderberry cuttings here at zero cost to myself, just the time to get them clipped up. Um, and if you're buying these things, you're paying anywhere from a dollar to two fifty a cutting for them, so it adds up pretty quick. Uh, elderberries are one of those great self-propagating uh, vegetative shrubs, so I'm gonna go plant them out. Hope you learned something.